Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Uh, today I thought it would be a good idea to help you guys really develop your channel art on your YouTube channel. Um, that is a main piece of your channel. That is what grabs everybody's attention at first is they see that channel art and that is what they determine if they should check out your videos or not. So you really want to put in your personality, you want to put in related to your channel genre. Um, and this is just going to be a kind of a tutorial step by step of what I use and how I decorate my channel art. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. So first what you want to do is just pull up Google Chrome. Go to your YouTube channel. And this probably looks familiar, right? This is what we're changing. This is so out of date for me. I need to get it updated. Um, so that is what we're doing today. So focusing on your channel art, you can see a little pencil icon here. That is your edit icon. We are going to click on that and you're going to see edit links edit channel art. We're going to click on edit channel art and this is going to bring up a window that's going to ask you to drag or upload a photo that you want to put as your background. We don't have one yet. That is what we're creating. So click on the icon down below that says how to create channel art. And this directs you to YouTube help. So what you want to do if you want to watch or read or whatnot, go right ahead. But I just scroll right down to image guidelines for channel art and they have a template right here for you to use. So you want to click on that and it's going to automatically download the template to your computer. Once it's done downloading you want to just click unzip it to the location that you want to put it and that's up to you. I can't direct you on how you want to do that but I can tell you that I put mine on my background. Once that you have that downloaded and saved, go up to your search bar and we are going to go to www.pickmonkey.com. This is the website that I use. It is amazing. You do have access to like the free portion of the website so you can forever do free uh, editing, photo editing on this website. However, you can get the royalty package, um, which is basically the pay monthly or pay yearly. It's $4.99 a month or $33 a year. Totally worth it. So we are going to go to edit and it's going to have this drop down. You just want to hover over it and it will drop down with choose a photo to edit. We're going to choose computer because that's where we saved the clip art to. And we're just going to go to where you saved that clip art on. I did my desktop and there it is right there. You double click. And here it is loaded. This is your template that you're going to use for decorating your channel art. You have the option of desktop max, tablet, desktop minimum, and mobile. I use the guidelines for the tablet. So as long as you stay within the tablet guidelines, then your channel art is going to come through on the mobile device just fine. So like I said, you really want to put in your personality on your channel art. You want to put expectations, schedules, things of that nature. That is what I'm doing today. So over on the left hand side under the editor you are going to see this butterfly icon and this is the overlays icon. You want to click on that and it gives you tons of options on to choose from uh, for decoration. So you don't necessarily have to get your decorations through Google they have a ton of options here. Now if you notice the crown on some of the options, that means that this is purely just for the royalty package, which is what you have to pay for. Um, like I said, $4.99 a month or $33 a year, not bad at all. So once you're done going through all of these options and you're seeing not much that you're too happy with, then just pull up Google and type in transparent tumbler. If 
I could spell Tumblr. Um, let's do wings. And then you want to go to images, and this is going to show you all these transparent wings. Whoa, that's a little crazy. That isn't something I want. Let's go to this one. That looks a little more innocent. In order to find the photos, you just want to go to overlays, click on your own, and this pulls up your files. And we're just going to find what I'm going to use. And I found this beautiful wing, black, beautiful, feathery looking wing. And I'm just going to put that right here. Now you may notice that it is pointing only to one side. If you go over to this edit box, which will pop up with any new photo that you put on your channel art template, you can choose this icon here, which is the mirror icon. You click on that and it flips it for you. So it's very helpful if you don't necessarily want it to be pointing just one direction. Then you just try to match it up as best as you can. And I'm really looking at these edges here to see how far off I am just to match it up. Once we got that looking good and we want to add some text to your channel art, then you want to go to this text icon. Click on that and it gives you several options of text that you want to use. We're just going to use a simple cursive look to it that looks very elegant and pretty. Uh, let's just scroll down, see what we can find. And as you may notice as I'm scrolling down, a lot of these have the crown next to them. So the text is more limited than the icons are with having the uh, membership. All right, so once you choose your text that you want to use, you hit add text and this box here will pop up. You click inside the box and then type what you want to say. So my thing is wings and personality. We're just going to bring that to the top here. You click on the font, you hit add text, the box bops, the box pops up again, and I am going to type my schedule. Videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the next text that I'm going to add is what my channel is about. So my channel is about makeup. DIYs, demos, and reviews, and personality. Why not? That is what my channel is about. I am a girl of personality. And you just kind of want to adjust to your liking. There we go. So as you're looking at this, you're probably like, I can't hardly see anything, which is fine because we're going to be adjusting that as well. So once you finish with this portion of setting up your uh, icons, your text, and what you want it to mainly look like, then pop over to this icon here. It's called Effects. It's a little wand with little fairy dust coming out of it. You click on that and you have all these different effects and this is the effects for the background. We're going to scroll all the way down to the pencil icon, which is close to the bottom. Here we go. So under the draw icon, we're going to click on that. We're going to keep it white because we're just going to erase this whole section here. I'm going to make the dot huge so I don't have to do much. We're just going to erase. the background which is erasing the template. So you, before you do this step, you really want to make sure that you have everything in its place that you want. There we go. 
So this is what your channel art is going to look like for right now. You can add things certainly after this point. Um, after you're done doing the white all over, you just hit apply. This will apply the white to the background. All right. Well, I'm thinking that this looks pretty good, so I'm going to save it. You want to hit save and you want to rename it something else. So I'm going to name it Wings Art. And you just save to computer in where you want to save it. And you want to wait for it to come up here saying Masterpiece Saved. So we're going to go back to our channel. And we're going to go to that channel art option again. Select a photo from your computer. We're going to click on that. And you just find that channel art that you just saved. So we're going to find that here. Once you find it, you double click. It's going to upload. And this is what it's going to show you on how it's going to look on different devices. So you got your desktop here, TV because people watch YouTube on TV. I never have, but that must be a thing. And then the mobile device, you can see how it's laying on the mobile device. Um, if you want to adjust the crop, you certainly can, um, or device preview. I generally don't mess with adjusting it here. I just keep on device preview. Make sure auto enhance is not checked. That's important because what it will do is make your image look like what you don't want it to look like. Once you think everything looks good, hit select and it's going to start popping up here. And if you're happy with this, wings and personality, we got the schedules, we have my what my channel is about. You're seeing a lot of empty space over here. So you do have the option. You always want to make sure you keep this open and not close it until you're completely satisfied with the layout. So what I do is I look at what it looks like on my computer and then I go to my mobile device and I pull up my YouTube on my mobile device to see how it looks on there as well. I'm going to stretch these out a little bit further. I'm going to hit save again. I'm going to rename it Wings Art. Hit save and hit save. Yes, I want to overwrite. And then go back here, click the little pencil icon, edit channel art, select photo, double click. Again, make sure that the auto enhance is not checked and hit select. We're going to see what it changes. And there you have it, guys. My art I'm very happy with. It shows what my videos days are. It shows what my channel is about. Wings is very important to my makeup style. So Wings and Personality is my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to work on your channel art for your YouTube channel. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below in the comment section and I will answer whatever I can for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I hope you guys have a fantabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!